Hello guys, welcome to Two Latin Brothers Podcast, also known as TLBP. I'm Victor. And I'm Adrian. And we have another guest for you guys, if you would like to introduce yourself. Hi, my name's Niall. <laughs> that was really straightforward. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, sure. um, yeah. Okay. Asking to introduce I, I, myself. I thought yeah, it was going to be like, go. you know, this, 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 this. Okay, I yeah. if you want. No, I mean, it's fine. It really doesn't really matter. I mean, if if they want more info, I'll link something of yours. In the it sounds link. good. Like yeah, your Insta right. or something in the description. I, I'm literally, that's what I'm doing with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like if they got like an Instagram, they got like a YouTube channel, they got something, I'll just... Yeah, I could specify what kind of person I am or... <laughs> I mean, what kind of content you put out <laughs> yeah, into the world. exactly. Or... All right, yeah, you can go into that if you want. Sure, so I'm... Shameless uh, plug. <laughs> <laughs> so I am... A, a student. I am uh, an artist, um, a photographer. Um, currently studying graphic design, and overall trying to improve every creative outlook of the visual. Yeah. No. Okay. Wow. So yeah. that basically sums it up. Um, you well, have the floor okay. because this is how uh, we go. You have a. You have hopefully a question. question. A question, question prepared for him. Okay. okay. What are well, photography, I feel like he's going to say. But uh, what are your hobbies? Like, What do you like to do for fun? So, um, well, uh, as I uh, specified, those are some of the areas I really enjoy. And those are hobbies of mine. Other hobbies in include listening to music. So I always try to look for a lot of underground music. Uh, like watching and getting inspiration on YouTube. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it yeah mm. um, wow that was he got you <laughs> real quick we're all yeah in. yeah <laughs> we're like two minutes in and he's already answered your question yeah okay. oh, all of them <laughs> <laughs> no like no like well one of the well actually like some of the music what is it there's a song i showed the other day that he's the one who suggested to me which one Where's is that? that um oh man what's it that song again i don't know you showed it to me <laughs> uh Oh, uh, he's gonna have to. I think it's called search. "Given Up." Okay. By the, uh, it's like the live performance. So good. Oh, Duran Jones. Yes, I think that's what. Yeah. It is. Yes, it's such a good song. You were like, you were like recommending me. Oh, they... like that was like the last week before, um, because me and Niall used to be in school together, yeah. and uh, the last, the last week or so, we met up early mm -hmm. before class, and we were like just talking music, and we were like just yeah, like switching I music. That. It was by the yeah. Starbucks, I think. Yeah. Or something. Like that, yeah. We'd buy yeah. shameless plug again. There Starbucks, we go. Well, I'm not big on Starbucks, but there we go. <laughs> and we were like by Starbucks, yeah. and we're like, hey, uh, and then we were just like trading music. It was so funny. Funny enough, I just uh, created a playlist on Spotify of Duran Jones, the group that, and it's already gotten up to six followers. Oh, wow, which yeah, is crazy! Um, so they're really getting up there. I'll plug that too in the description. <laughs> <laughs> sure, let's just like start plugging on yeah. stuff. Yeah. I did see them live actually. They're oh, wow. quite an amazing band to see live. Unfortunately, they don't have any books for Canada at this mm. point. It's just the States and Europe, some of Europe. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, well, I mean, Canada is kind of yeah. cold. <laughs> yeah. Someday, someday. But it's really unique because there's a drummer in it that's also a singer. Oh, wow. It, so well, like, we get a lot of, like, it's really funny because some artists can't come here because it's not profitable for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. also because, like, there's no arena to host them where they would actually make a profit. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> like, because, like, they go, like, say they go to, like, you know, massive places or, like, you can have, like, up to, like, 400,000 people in a stadium, right? Someone recently posted on a Facebook page of our school and uh, he was like, this is why our city doesn't promote it and <laughs> just linking it. Zero likes, zero comments. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, and, and, and then you look at the profile, it matches with the thing he's sharing. Oh. So he's basically promoting himself. So uh. basically what he's doing, what I'm doing right now. It's <laughs> <laughs> all this shameless plugging. Yeah. <laughs> No, uh, I had a I had a friend recently. Uh, he was we, I was telling him about the podcast because mm -hmm. the thing that we I don't know if you've been listening. I don't know if you've been listening. To I it. have like bits and pieces. Yeah, like, so, like I've done my research. What we do? <laughs> like I did my research. No, so what we've been doing is uh, like so we'll go one week. Me and my brother will record. And yeah, I'll bring a guest, and one week we'll record, and then he'll bring a guest. So like a friend of his, right? And we'll just keep going like this. The issues mm -hmm. that that's occurred to me. Well, <laughs> Sorry about the noise. No. <laughs> um, if you want their earphones, I'm like, what was that? Oh, 
But uh, no, uh, in my case, it's been like I'm running like there are people I haven't talked to in a really long time. Mm -hmm. So like just reaching out to these people and talking to them again has like I'm like hesitant towards it. But I'm like, "Uh, they'd be so good on the podcast, though. (laughs) There we go. You know, yeah, Yeah, it's like because some people have a natural voice, especially like singers. They need podcast, I think, you know, because it also I know they sing, but it's also a lot of them have stories to tell. Oh, yeah. But like a lot also their music, like. Some of the lyrics that artists write, like, it's just super deep. Oh, yeah. yeah and it's, sure. like, there's so much backstory to, like, like this one song. And, like, when they break it down, like, there's this really... Uh, like sorry, this my, has my Latin side is going to show right now. That's there's fine. this Latin singer. He wrote this song. It's, like, super, super famous. Mm-hmm. And in the song, he says how he lost his treasure. And every, when it first came out, and even years later after it came out, everyone thought it was about the loss of his wife. Because th- after the song yeah. came out, his wife had just died. So, like, it had been, like, a year or two. So, everyone's like, oh, it's probably, like, you know, a song for his wife who he lost his shred, right? And then later on, they found out that it was that his daughter ran away with her boyfriend, like, years later. That's what it was about. (laughs) Like, like, I'm talking, like, maybe 40 years later. That must have been on the back burner. Oh. That's probably why. No, yeah, but, like, it's because, like, he, he wouldn't talk about it. Yeah. Like, when they'd ask him about it, he's like, I'd prefer not to talk about it. Or some artist, uh, it's the, a meaning that's, complete, like you said, completely yeah. different. Like, I recently found out, you know, Sting song, Every Be- Breath You Take, or something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's actually about a stalker Yeah. that he had, yeah. which is interesting because I, it makes sense, but it's just like, we all interpreted it differently. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's all right. And that's the thing about music, right? Like, it's open to interpretation. Exactly. And we all connect to it in our own unique way right so it's mm-hmm. like also it's like the type of music you listen to like some people are like you know crazy rap yeah and like yeah. others are like you know pop <laughs> rap is good for that i think well for tell for yeah. song stories well like the, the yeah. guy i really like for that it's kendrick lamar yeah same. he's yeah. really good yeah. at doing that oh but, man he hits some like points that she's just, just like i can't believe he said that mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like then, i didn't catch that but he said it <laughs> yeah. yeah you have to go back that's, and like read out his lyrics because yeah, he's yeah. so fast he, he is and also but his lyrical content like oh, yeah. the history is really good yeah mm-hmm. um it's like a storytelling oh yeah but uh, what i find is now is uh if you have your own opinion that's fine but uh genius i love that channel oh, but okay. it sometimes overly um tries to find the meaning Oh, yeah. And it's like, sometimes an artist is left for the interpre- interpretation. Yeah. Because it's like a painting piece. Yeah. Um, people have their own... Um, like, what is it? Like, what Childish Gambino did with yeah. This is yeah. America? That, like, yeah. everyone was trying to dissect it frame yeah. by frame. And he doesn't talk about the song. That's true. He's just yeah. like, it is what it is, right? But, like, even artists, like, what is it? Kanye West tweeted out when that song came out. He's like... He's like a, like a musical genius or something like that. Oh, yeah. Like, I was like, yo, if Kanye's getting in on this, like, something big. Like, he dropped something big in there. Yeah. And everyone was yeah. like, that, that's when everyone started dissecting it frame by frame. But it's yeah. funny because he doesn't write some of his music. Like, yeah. Especially yeah. on the latest one, the most, um, what would I say, uh, vocal. Yeah. Or on an issue, like the last one. I forget which one it's called. Uh, but it, he didn't even write that, and it's oh, kind of surprising because it's basically him talking about his daughter in the future. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's something that could be very personal. Yeah. And his yeah. Uh, daughter is, hasn't even grown up, which yeah. is kind of strange. Well, but, like, mm-hmm. I mean, like, what is it? There's, like, a, like, what is it? Drake did the same thing where there's yeah. a song where he's rapping about his kid. And I was like, when, since when does he have a yeah. kid? And then people started rumors, yeah. like, yeah. he has a kid. Yeah. And it's like, everyone was like, wait, what is, everyone was so confused. <laughs> and, and then like, Pusha, and right, the Pusha T mentioned it, uh, what I've heard, I like, um, yeah. could be wrong, but Pusha T did a diss track on him yeah. about it. It's, yeah. it's, yeah. it's interesting to hear, um, he, I don't know, it's, it's also like interesting, like a lot of the artists right now who are like super, like who have gotten a lot of fame are Canadian. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, like, oh, like, like yeah. recently we have like, what is it? Like, you know, Drake. Oh, true. Also, yeah. Well, Canadian. And then you have like this this kid who came out of nowhere, Sean Mendes. Yeah, just she, came out yeah, of nowhere. It's true. Came out of nowhere. And then you have Alicia Carr, also came out of nowhere. <laughs> but like, yeah. if you, it's really funny because like everyone's like, oh, they came out of nowhere. And then you go on YouTube, and they've been like YouTubers for years. That's true. Yeah. And you're like, well, I never, I had no idea. 
Mm-hmm. But it's really funny because these these three move numbers like crazy. Like, because it's always been a numbers game, right? Yeah. yeah. Like they move like they move crazy numbers. And, like these kids from Canada, from from, from Canada, from, that are Canadian, <laughs> are like you know just moving the industry forward. I'm like, that's so amazing. Like. What's going on? <laughs> Check out the band Fleece. That's one of my favorite Canadian yeah. bands right now. Yeah, you showed me that. Uh, yeah, they yeah. started out with YouTube, like a viral video where they're mocking another a musician. Yeah. While eating rice cakes. It's yeah, hilarious. you showed me that. Yeah. There's like a lot of stuff. Like, I don't know. It's an interesting. So uh, yeah. I think you have another question for now. <laughs> now that we got Sorry super, about that. Yeah, we got right. super, we got um, super sidetracked. Uh, do you have like a favorite game? I personally don't play much video games, mm. uh, but um, back in the day when I did, well, I still kind of do once in a while, mm. is Skate 3. I love that game to mm. death. Skate 3 is fun, actually. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, I remember that. <laughs> it's the exploration and the glitches, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Like, there's like always, I love how like when games come out. People dedicate their time to finding all the glitches in the game. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm like, how do, why, why would you try, you know? Like, like what's it called? The yeah. never-ending one that you keep finding glitches for is, like, Minecraft. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Always, well, it's because like, new glitch. Well, it's because like, like, we fixed the glitch. Found the next one. <laughs> well, it's because it's because Minecraft, the way it was written, it's, like, super open. Yeah, so, it's like... It's a sandbox game. Oh, yeah, it's a yeah. sandbox game. It's, so, like, literally... And every time they add something in, or they add a new object or a new yeah. item... There's like twelve different glitches that appear. Yeah. yeah, so it's like this ever constantly having to refine. But it's like they're like on version what eighteen now, or like nineteen. I, 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 I don't know. know. Like every <laughs> and it's like Jeez. and every year like they'll release like multiple. So it'll be like eighteen B, eighteen C, eighteen A or whatever. Oh, like yeah. in chunks because they're like yeah. fixing all the bugs, right? And because they keep updating it, it's like and they keep adding new stuff every single time, mm-hmm. or they'll remove something and then fix something, and it's just like this whole. Thing and it's like it's never gonna be a stable solid game yeah. except maybe on the ipad which because they wait a lot for updates oh yeah probably yeah. and they're not rushing because it's a different platform you yeah know? well actually uh, now they're using like it's like all one platform yeah it's, it's like, like when the computer yeah oh really okay. yeah now it's like that's this, good like so like when the pc one updates the 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 like console one updates the mobile one updates yeah. like all of them simultaneously update that's yeah. good. Because, but actually, like, there's some, there's a little bit of separation between some of them. Oh well, yeah, but like, like, yeah. like but it's, it's like only like a week. Week. Well, it's also, yeah. well, it's also like like the difference between Xbox and PlayStation, right? Yeah. Because Microsoft owns Minecraft, yeah. right? Logically, they're gonna get the update before the people on the PlayStation. It makes game, sense, yeah. right? Like that's just like exclusivity, right? So yeah, it's like, and that's like a week before, but that's like a marketing <laughs> thing, <laughs> as opposed exactly. to like we don't yeah. want you to get the update. Well, you're gonna get it, just not on the same day that this guy. Wait a bit, maybe a month. It's like, a, what is it? It's like when, it's like Windows updates. You don't oh, yeah. know this struggle because you use. I a don't. Mac. Yeah, I use a Mac. Oh my so. gosh! No, like, what mm. is it? There was an update that was supposed to come out in October, mm-hmm. and it was like wiping people's hard drives, and I had just done it. Oh no! <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm gonna lose all my stuff, and I, nothing happened to my laptop. Oh thank, thank goodness. goodness! Yeah, yeah, I was so happy. And then they stopped releasing the update, and then November came around. They're like, oh, it'll be fixed by November. November came around. They didn't release anything. December came around, still nothing. And then like, no, the last the last couple of weeks of December, and they finally like released the update. They're like, it's fine now, it's okay. And then they found like another issue with it, where they're like, now they have. I think it's like uh, it's like accessing. It has access to all your personal data now. So like anyone who connects to like yeah. your device remotely can access just about everything on your oh, computer. That's so sketchy. And then it's like, oh my gosh. It's like yeah. they went from like wiping your hard drive to like making you completely vulnerable to the world. Yeah. <laughs> so it just it kept getting worse and I'm like, I just I don't even know anymore, like <laughs> just wait a month. Oh yeah, no, yeah. so like a lot of people are like, you know, just wait it out. Just don't yeah. don't do it. It ain't worth it. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's that's interesting. So do you yeah. have another question? Oh, man, you're starting to stump me. I'm starting to stump me. You usually yeah. uh, I'm really like that you don't have a script to review. Yeah. You know, I was kind of expecting. <laughs> like, the, like, 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 okay, me to pull out like a little like, scroll, like, okay, yeah. next one. And you his little your rules, rules, you know? And so, Honestly, uh, at this point, what's your favorite color? <laughs> what's my favorite color? Well, people say um, that black's a shade, but I personally believe it's a color. So, yeah, but but so black, it's a color. yeah. Paint my heart black. Or, I'm always, I'm like almost always wearing a dark shade, or I'm like, 
But I gotta Those say, I love burgundy. 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 Yeah, like what you got on today. Yeah. Both of you, actually. Yeah. Didn't even notice that. <laughs> That's how you know we're brothers. <laughs> yeah, identifier. So subconsciously, I uh, mixing and matching. Yeah. Okay. You know, so burgundy. <laughs> no. Uh, what is it? I don't know. How did that come about that black isn't a color anymore? I think it's just in art lessons because yeah, you know, just like what you would use for certain things. But at the same time, it, because I'm studying color right now in one of my courses in the printing, we sometimes do RGB or we do CMYK. Yeah. And K means black. Yeah. So what are you guys getting at about the whole not a color yeah it's i don't know it's it's like this weird thing i, I, I remember when that started everyone's like black sun color and whatever else but i think it's interesting how um a lot of people like you tell them like what's your favorite color and they go yeah. you tell me oh it's like black or you go white They're like well that's not a color, yeah, <laughs> it's not a color. and i'm like you entitled the little child don't like who cares <laughs> i think they just want to be smart and that sort of thing <laughs> and, or plus maybe their art teacher grounded them and said Hey, you can't choose that. That's uh, not a color or yeah, something. I remember like that. I had a teacher. I think it was in grade. Yeah, I want to say grade seven. Mm-hmm. He he was colorblind to like emerald green. Wow. Like specifically that color, and we were all like, and the only the only reason we even found out was because this girl was wearing like this emerald green sweater. Mm-hmm. It was like a really nice sweater. And he goes, "Oh, nice sw- nice yellow sweater." And we all go yellow, and we all like thought he was like joking around. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, uh, he's like, no, nice yellow sweater. Like, sir, that that's like a green. And he's like, no, it's it's yellow. And we're all like, no, it's green. The girl takes off her sweater and she's like, it's green. And we're all like, it's green, sir. And he's like, and then he had this whole moment of like, all oh, right. Then, <laughs> then he proceeded to tell us that he was colorblind. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. Like, like finally clicked. It was like, but he was like, he's like, it's not that bad. Like, it's like, yeah. Right. So like, but I had, I had a teacher in high school mm. who he was just straight up colorblind. Um, he says that when his kids were little, he would take them to the to these like mountain. I was gonna say where it is, but these hills where like yeah. you know you can go see the leaves change color in the fall, and it's like really nice, and everyone goes takes pictures there. I, I yeah. know a yeah. lot of people that do photography out right. there. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but he says his son walks over to him and he's like, "Dad, isn't it so beautiful?" And he's like, I, "It all looks the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the same color. It's just, it's just like this dark brown. <laughs> it's uh, all like the same." <laughs> I don't know if it's like the novel The Giver. I don't know. You guys read that uh the the black and white yeah, yeah. exactly I read <laughs> oh you said it, so it was such like, a good book. i think i read it in high school i think it was like grade 11 or grade 10 it's, uh, it depends on like the teacher and the teacher like i remember in grade four no in grade, grade four and grade <laughs> nine i read like six books that year oh wow yeah we read like to kill a mockingbird twilight the fault in our whoa, stars whoa, the whoa. high Games. school did twilight yeah <laughs> no because like that's well because like the twilight movie had just come out I know, and but then, I mean, like, like, and the only reason, like, because our teacher, like, had us, like, vote on what books he wanted to read, like, oh, the Twilight okay, movie was coming yeah, out, yeah. so all the girls logically voted for yeah, Twilight, yeah. and then the Hunger Games was coming out, so, like, a bunch of people voted for that, Okay. and then, okay. so, we read, we read To Kill a Mockingbird, and then we read The Fault in Our Stars, because our teacher wanted us to read The Fault in Our Stars. It's funny, um, I didn't know French, that much French at the time, I still don't, but, um, for the longest time, I thought... A toilette in French meant twilight. Oh, so basically, I was like, uh, a lot of uh, people ask, can I use the toilette? And I was thinking, use twilight? Uh, what is that talking about? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this is so unfair. Okay, they get the read twilight, I get the read frog things. <laughs> no, it was, uh, <laughs> this is a problem with canon. <laughs> got this french sneaking in every yeah. yeah what is it but then everyone what is it now especially um the french they're like pushing for canada because canada isn't officially a bilingual language country mm-hmm. yeah. it isn't yeah right but they push a lot of french that's true like especially here what's well, the new like it's the older generation i think wanting to have a bilingual society yeah well like, and it's understandable well the, but... the problem too is like if like say you go to the other side like if you go to british columbia yeah you go there and it's like everyone, like half the population there is like Chinese, right? Yeah. Exactly. So they're all speaking Mandarin, mm-hmm. right? So like, what is it? It's almost something Mandarin that if you, can, yeah, if you yeah. go to, if you go to the airport there, when it says welcome to Canada, it's also in Mandarin. Really? I did not know that. I, I didn't know, know that either, either. But apparently it's like that. So I was like, wow, they have like, they must have like a massive population there. We're like, slowly becoming an educational I, no, podcast. <laughs> an Asian, no, they have like yeah. a huge Asian community there. It's true, so like, yeah. you know, for, for that to be like that. 
It makes sense. Meanwhile, we're over here battling with French. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I know we're in the middle of the... Yeah. Ish. And then meanwhile, over there, they're like, oh, pretty soon, everything's going to be like time Mandarin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be taught this in schools. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm actually going out to BC in the summer-ish. So uh, I have a friend, uh, she's actually from China. So there we go. Oh, wow. What do you, <laughs> what do you <laughs> know? So, not too far off. Not too far off. But she's originally from here. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Well, I mean, there's always someone from somewhere. Yeah. Exactly. Like, what is it? Recently, uh, I met someone from this country. I, was t- I can't remember. I think it was like, the, like in, a, in a previous podcast, I said this out. Uh, I was walking out of a class. I had mm-hmm. met someone, and we were, we started talking. And they tell me they're from this country. I had no idea this country even existed. It's in Europe. <laughs> and they're like, "I'm like, oh, that's so cool." Walk away, start googling. <laughs> I had like, no what idea. Is this place? I had no idea. It's probably a micro state. Well, no, it's like an actual country. Like they have yeah. their own flag. They I even heard their their anthem. Like they had their whole thing. But I, I mean, like in Europe, there's a lot of countries that aren't seen by the globe. Yeah. Like, yeah. There was a whole book I read once that had all those like micro states they call it. Oh wow! That are in these countries. So, if we think. Oh wow! Well, yeah. no, but yeah, but like it was, it was super interesting for me. I, I couldn't believe that that was even a thing. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I never heard of this. Place. So where was it? Do you know? It, yeah, it was uh, Maldovia. Maldovia. Okay. It's like I never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? No. Well, I heard I the mean, story. When I, when oh, I told, hey. Like in a previous episode, it's like three Cheating. episodes ago. Now. But, <laughs> but like for me, it was just super, super. Like I always, I, just, I have no idea what's going on. I, was, I don't, I don't know anymore. But um, yeah, and it's, it's sometimes it's hard because people like they try to like you know they're all excited to tell you these sorts of things, mm-hmm. and yeah. you're like you don't want to shut them down. Like I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you just play along. Like I know you're dying. You know, like but at the same time, I mean, they, they should sometimes understand because. Well, yeah. maybe not the com- most common out there, but well, yeah, it's but, understandable. But then, but but then we're like in a country where we coined multiculturalism. That's true, yeah. So like, it's like, we should know. <laughs> I think, it, it, but there's a part of us being open and also, also intrigued of learning, you know, yeah. new places as well. There's, okay. Um, you guys just turn and look at me. Next question. <laughs> no, <laughs> the question I mean, I mean, your third question doesn't really count as a question. Cause that's like a, that's like a cop yeah. out question. <laughs> well, um. It's not Let's thought see. out. It's not thorough. That's fine. You know, I'll yeah. maybe take five or days to think about this. One. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, uh, okay, so it's been a week now. <laughs> I come back. <laughs> so hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> one week later, um, you guys, are only like halfway through the podcast. <laughs> wow, you have a timeline. Uh, no, we do. We normally try 45 minutes. Okay. Let's no. see. Uh, favorite food. Favorite food. Like. Mm. Like if you were stranded on an island, oh. and you can only have one food. It's funny because if I have too much of something, I get sick of it. But, <laughs> but if I have to choose, it's got to be either anything related to Thai, like Pad Thai. Love it to death. I love that too. <laughs> I just like food in general. Was it, what was that time we were like, uh, we were at the school and someone oh, called us? Yeah. We were like, she like called us and we were like, yo, go get us some because she was like, gonna go get some. I felt so bad, oh, but yeah. at the same time, it was like, you're there. I mean, you're there. <laughs> so, might as well. So we're like, just like hanging out. And <laughs> but it, it, she was, it was, wasn't she saying earlier, she got a bit of a burn because all the, um, she got three boxes or something. Yeah. Everyone, everyone oh yeah, because everyone was like, Oh, it's so much food just for you. But she's like, I mean, I don't really care. Like, if some people care, like, when people get them looks. But at the end of the day, like... You provide it. Yeah. Pepsi, I think, or something like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, the, like, remember the locker? Yes, I remember. Did you hear about this? No, I haven't told... Oh, you got to hear So, uh, we went to go buy, like... We were like, like, what is it? We want, like... We were like... We were doing this, like, potluck thing. But it started happening every week where someone would bring food. (laughs) So, like, we go get, like, a bay of chips or, like, a can of Coke or, like, you know, whatever. And this one time, we had, like, Crush. I went to go buy, like, a box of Crush. Oh, my God. And then, uh, so we had left over, and I'm, like, where, where did we put it? And I literally walk out of the class, and there's, like, this locker. And then I'm, like... Not uh, dead bolted. Yeah, it's not, like, bolted <laughs> shut or anything. So I literally open it, and I put it in there, and I close the locker. And I was, like, I bet you it's not going to be there next week. I'm, like, it's going to be there next week. <laughs> yeah, we started making bets about yeah. it no, How long not with real money just yeah. uh, who's going to buy the next round yeah no, so then we literally uh so then the next week uh i'm like we we met up and i was like 
uh, we were just like talking. I'm like, hey. I'm like, oh, and then I remembered. And so I went to go check and we're like, it's actually still there. <laughs> no, oh, man. <laughs> so we just started using that locker. Whatever, like, we want to start. Just it's start. A, basically our fridge. Yeah. <laughs> we, like, we, we ended up, like, we stored Pepsi in there, too. We stored ginger ale in there, too. Once. Yeah. Like, we just started storing it. It's like a mini fridge, shoves it in there. Like, it and yeah, it's true. It's basically a mini fridge. Yeah, what is it? We also Not have... cold. <laughs> well, like, well, the building was super cold, so it was like, true. gets yeah. a cooler, shoves it, it, it in It was cold. It was colder than room temperature, that's for sure. But I remember um, someone in our class actually thought that was my locker. What? The yeah, because because she kept seeing know. me opening it and putting oh, stuff okay. in there. So they thought it was our lo- my locker, and I was telling them. And then after the class was over, I'm like, that's not actually my locker. I've just been using it. Because <laughs> oh apparently you're supposed to report people for using lockers that aren't yours. <laughs> but actually, the school was pretty much dead. Well, it's anyway, also the summertime. Yeah. So. yeah, so no one would obviously check. Yeah, I mean, it, it was funny, though. I, I found it so also, but that hallway has, like, three cameras in it. Like, oh, one yeah. at the far end of but the no hallway. But no one checks the cameras. One in the no, middle no, of the hallway. Unless, unless the something area. suspicious happens yeah. in that area, they're going to yeah, check Yeah, but it was, like, I found it so funny. I'm like, they're going to see me, and then I'm going to get asked questions, and I don't want to deal with that. Why did you store this Pepsi or No, it was like, it'd be like, locker. if you give me a box of Pepsi, I'll let it slide this once. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's what all cops do. No, I, I feel like it would be one of those, like, uh, when people, um, you know how, like, why aren't you putting, like, a lock on your locker sort of things? You'd be like, make sure you put the lock on your locker. And I'd be like, right, I'll, I'll bring one in next week and just forget to do it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But, yeah. Yeah, actually, I've done that before in my school where, like, I'm talking with somebody. I open my locker, put a bunch of things in there, close it. We start walking away with it still in my hand, make it to the opposite side of the school. I just end up putting it in my pocket. Mm-hmm. And then I reach into my pocket and I'm like, oh, I never locked it. And then by then it's already the end of the day. So I'm yeah. like, I'm going home. <laughs> Actually, you're lucky. You're, 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 no one's going through it. You know? yeah. I'll never forget this one time. I, uh, I ran, uh, someone like, um, I'll never forget. The, uh, someone was like getting something out of their locker and someone went and on like the, on my bag, locked their lock on my bag and I didn't notice and then the bell rang for class and my class was on the other end of the school so I just ran I started running yeah and then this like girl comes running up behind me and she's like basically behind me and I'm like wait what's what's going on so I stopped running like basically at the end of the hallway and she goes you have my lock on your bag and I'm like what (laughs) she's like oh I thought that's why you were running away (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like I had no idea <laughs> our school uh, in high school um, were so protective we had this one mechanism for lockers when one person broke into one of them they were like okay we'll do something how about you guys put away your original lockers mm-hmm. and we'll give you other ones for five dollars and it'll be all secure oh. <laughs> and it's like and plus, I couldn't even get my locker open because I have dyspraxia, and it's just like getting that to work. Uh, and if you don't, we'll cut it. And it's like we had to make some exception. But in the end, I never used my locker in high school. Oh, I, I used to share my locker with like four different people. Wow, I remember this one. <laughs> we had to Walk clean in closet. No, no, yeah, it was like we had to like uh, we had to clean out the locker, and I opened my locker, and there's just like all this clothes in my locker. And I'm like, I haven't even opened it in months. <laughs> and I was like, uh, okay, so this isn't mine. This is, and then I remember pulling out this like highlighter, pink sweater. Mm-hmm. And then I remember my teacher going, so it's clearly not yours. I'm like, it's clearly not mine. <laughs> She's like, yeah. besides, you wouldn't wear something that flashy. Because <laughs> I always wear like super dark colors. Yeah. So yeah. she's like, that's, that's, I can not yeah. yours. Yeah, my, my locker doesn't like, because like normal lockers have like these hooks where you can hang your jacket. Oh, that's good. All of them yeah. are just broken. <laughs> so I just kind of like open my locker, just throw it in and wow. hope for like, <laughs> just hope for the best. Yeah. So is there like a policy in more than t- uh, four people or is there a policy? Well, you're actually not supposed to share. Not, yeah. yeah. So yeah, like people do it anyway. But like so. no, the thing, <laughs> well the thing was is that because my locker was like so here's the door of the room like and the, my locker was like right next to it like right next to the door mm-hmm. so it's just convenient for me and my friends. Oh, okay. Right? That's so we just all yeah. just throw all my all our stuff into yeah. my locker, right? But I I don't get what uh, teachers are gaining if they catch someone. Like, well, it's oh, because yeah. like it's it's more of like. Uh, it's, it, a yeah, security so, yeah reason, right? it makes sense because like uh there was a high school i went to where the locker next to mine the guy who had that locker wasn't using that someone else was using it mm-hmm. and they were like storing drugs in there oh <laughs> right yeah, so so they find drugs in this kid's locker yeah. so they and go they to go him. to that kid right 
Yeah. But it's not. He hasn't been using that locker, right? So yeah, I can be that. So, right? so that then he, could, you know, he could end up getting charged for that. That's true. Right. So, so like, it's, that it, makes sense. It's this whole thing, right? So it's like, but it is kind of if you do catch someone, what do you do? Do you say, hey, you can't do this. Get a new locker or something like that. <laughs> it's like use the locker on the opposite side. No, of I, the feel hall. Like, <laughs> I feel like I feel like you'd be like you're gonna lose your locker privileges because <laughs> yeah, it's a privilege to have Suspended. a locker. And just, ends up with like this huge jacket. Like I'm, I have nothing with me. Don't worry. <laughs> just like, like, a, uh, they have a duster. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. There was there's just one locker in a. Because I went to two high schools, but in my first high school, there was this one locker that was slightly bigger than all the other lockers. Oh my god! And I remember um, someone got that locker when I was in grade nine, I believe. And it was like the funniest thing because their locker was like the size of two lockers, and it was like we were all like, "Wow!" And that became like the locker where we'd store food. <laughs> oh, storage compartment. Yeah, everyone just used it to store food. And then there was the locker next to it. Which everyone just like throw their trash in there, like, and it got it got really bad because like some people were like throwing like fruit stuff oh, in there, oh my started God. raw, and I remember this one time. Yeah, I should have put like a poster: only paper, no, it got plastic, with no. wash. <laughs> yeah, no, it was apparently got so bad that they had to like uh, the smell covered like the whole school, and they thought that like something had happened, and they had to like shut down the school because the smell was so bad. Oh, yeah, it just it was so so bad. So they shut down the school. That's crazy. Yeah. Or just the locker. Yeah, and I remember like they were trying to find out because that locker was never assigned to anyone. Someone just put a lock on it. Because oh. when they unbolt all the locks yeah. at the beginning of the year, yeah, there's a code right? or something. Yeah, no, they they or like just... they just unbolt all of them. Yeah, and then students in the first like week or so, students get assigned their locker, right? And then all the ones that aren't being used, they just bolt them up again. Yeah. But the thing is, is someone put a lock on this locker before, right? So yeah. they thought, so whoever was also, like, it's not that lock. difficult to just unscrew it. Well, well no, like, well, no, there they like do it with like an actual machine. So it's like, like, yeah, super, my, like, my school does that too. But you just get like another ratchet and you just open well, it. No, anyway. like, I, it's also like the way they like, it's also because like, how do I explain this without for the, for the listener to understand? Because yeah. it's like. On, like, this really awkward angle, the way they would bolt them. Oh, it's, like... Uh, so, like, it'd be hard. Like, if you stuck, like, a screwdriver, like, a normal screwdriver in there to hold it, you wouldn't be able to because of the angle you're in. Like, so, you couldn't unbolt them. It was, like, you had to have, like, a specific tool. thing to do it. Yeah. It was super... I remember some guy trying to do it. I remember watching it. He was like, I can't. So, it's so difficult. <laughs> I like the thumb ones. Those ones are cool. I don't know if you've seen those. Oh, like, yeah, the locks? Yeah. yeah like, I like had this, the... The arrow ones? Yeah, those yeah. ones I like. Yeah. But I don't know if they're easy to break them or not. I don't know. I mean, there's well, like what if there's like it's, it's a lock is just an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. What is it? There's anybody like, can. Yeah. Break. What is it? Literally, there's... all you gotta do is just lean back while holding it, and it'll open. <laughs> there we go. Well, like there's like the dollar store ones. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, yeah. Those like, are... Even with master ones, you can do it. You can just like lean back and just open. Oh, well, I, I think it like it, it's. It snaps the like the the inside, the, end the inside but it and it ruins the locker. Yeah. But also, if you get like this metal sheet and cut it in a certain shape, you can just stick it in and then twist and it opens. Ah. Uh, okay. So. Usually, and you can literally get that in any art class. Thank you for my defense. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. No, there's a there was a lot of uh, no. I remember this one time this kid, he like pick locked his own because he he had like those like padlocks like a key. And he gave one to, like, the school, and he had one just, like, you know, because you have to give them, like, your code or whatever. And that was the one he was using because he had, like, this memory issue, and he couldn't remember numbers or whatever. So it's just, like, so they gave him a key. And I remember he lost his key, and he literally just sat there picking his own lock. <laughs> it was so funny because then he'd show up every day in the morning just be, like, picking his own lock. And I'm like, isn't it broken by now? And he's like, nah, it keeps locking somehow. <laughs> like, just get a new one. He's like, yeah, but then I had to get to school a new, a new key and uh, just all this, all this stuff it's just so much extra work it's expensive you know overall to do that you know like, yeah well not that expensive but what i mean is like what you're paying to, for a locker and then talking to school and then you have to pay I, yeah off. it's just like so much extra work yeah like mm-hmm. i remember like, especially now that we're in college too mm-hmm. what is it they charge you like what 14 dollars a semester yeah 20 I, think a semester? So. I did that the first semester yeah but I was in the second semester. A lot of my stuff are our own computers. So I was yeah. like, just carry the Mac around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like you got your art stuff. Yep. <laughs> Both on his laptop. He's like, He's like I got it. We're set. Uh, today, uh, uh, recently, I did an exam, and we were uh, we had like we booked this like tiny, tiny room in the library. Mm-hmm. It was super, super small. And um, I remember how someone was like, "Oh, we can just 
you know, guys, we all got laptops. We just put them on our lap because there's like 12 people in like this, like <laughs> the room we're in right now. Yeah. Like half the size, maybe even smaller than that. For context, for like we're in a small room. <laughs> well, or like, it's not, it's not that small. Yeah. yeah. But like in this room, you can get at least 10 people in here. No problem. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Like it's in this possible. room, right? But like in the room we were in, like maybe you could get like four. And we were trying to get 12 people in there. <laughs> so like we've like removed the table out of the room and just had chairs and we're just sitting there on their laptop trying to get work done. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was so funny. But this room is definitely... This room doesn't have any wall plugs, so it's kind of disappointing. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It has one right here. Oh, it has one over uh, there. Yeah. And I think... I can't see any... Oh, yeah, you're right. But okay. the one thing I don't like is there's nowhere to write anything on the whiteboard. Like, there's no marker. There's no marker. Oh, yeah, you have to self-supply, man, because people steal them. <laughs> That's true. So somebody's like... <laughs> Just, like, have, like, a little sign. Please do not steal. <laughs> what is it? They do the same thing at the... Sharpie. <laughs> what is it? They do the same thing at the college we go to. Like, uh, your prof has to bring their own markers. Yeah, I think so, yeah. It's, it's it disappointing that happens, but you know, it's, oh, what it, is it happens too often. It's so funny. I have a prof. Every time he'll like, he'll he'll start his lecture and he'll start writing and he'll grab his markers. And the first marker he grabs every time won't write. So like, so this is what we got. And he'll start writing, and we're like, mm -hmm. and he'll be looking like sideways so you can still see us. Like he keep talking, and we're like, sir, you're not writing anything on the board. <laughs> he's just like he's just like scribbling. Like, cool. What's it called? It's Didn't just... he have a teacher who wrote with his left hand, so he'd go erasing? Oh, yeah, that was in high school. Yeah, oh. in grade twelve, I had an English teacher who wrote with his left hand, mm -hmm. and on like a chalkboard. And as he would go writing, he would go like smudging it all out. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like I, I feel like I can I can see people right now that like left hand put it on a table and just start writing, and it's like oh my god. I gosh. feel like that's the test also for his time as well he's like yeah. how fast can i finish off this lecture <laughs> <laughs> well like erasing it no it was really funny so then he like start writing like this <laughs> like on like an angle it's like karaoke you got to catch it before you miss your part <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true no it was so funny um he was he was a very interesting teacher he uh, and he he pushed a lot of his ideologies on us Mm -hmm. I remember I called him out on it once and like in front of the vice principal when he was being wow. assessed and that just went into this whole other thing, which I'm not going to get into, but yeah, it was super awkward. <laughs> it was like, sir, you it's know, like, I almost just got you in trouble, sir. Be careful. <laughs> you're, not allowed, you're not allowed to do this. <laughs> yeah. But I remember, but yeah, he was, uh, he was, it was really funny. He used to be like a real estate guy and then he okay. became a teacher. Interesting. That's a quite a big leap, actually. Yeah, it was so bizarre. I think it was like he's just like he retired. He made like enough money to retire. How was his presentations, by the way? What do you mean? Like, I mean, like his uh, classes. Yeah, classes like how he presented. Oh, he would. Like, he would. He would start every class by grabbing the newspaper. Oh, and he'd like talk about like the article for like the day, mm. like, and then he'd and then he'd like start with like whatever we were like doing at the time. So, like, if we we're talking about like sentences yeah. or what would it be? It's an English class. <laughs> like, I'm just thinking because real estate. Well, just seeing from talk shows, <laughs> but they're very humble and they like to present their how the house and advertise it as possible so i was thinking oh no like your he, teacher, he he was he was a pretty good like teacher it. he also uh he he still even he used to something about egypt i don't remember what exactly he, from there or something no he wasn't from there but he'd always talk about how something about egypt I, maybe I he travels I, yeah, I don't know I'm I, yeah it's he's a traveler <laughs> I, I don't i don't remember <laughs> all i remember is egypt <laughs> egypt yeah and i remember him like I remember, what was it when I graduated? I saw him for like, I think two minutes and then I just never saw him again. Just wow, never again. Is... He just like vanished and I was like, what is Back to real estate. <laughs> <laughs> Where he's got something. If he's first a real estate, next he's a teacher and next he's something else. Oh, like no, uh, he, I think he retired. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, also like I remember this one time uh, we, he was getting his house renovated and he uh, he went uh, he went home during lunch because um, he had like a, like a, like a, on Sundays He'd have like a really long lunch because he wouldn't. He would. He'd only teach one class in the afternoon. Depending on what day it was, he'd have a really long lunch, or he would just have like that one class. Then he'd go home. So he'd have lunch, then another thing in the class, then he'd go home. But in this, on this day, he thought he had like a really long lunch because the class would be at the end of the day, but it wasn't. And we were all in the class, and he went home to go help this guy move something from his house. Oh <laughs> and we're all just like sitting in the class. And I was like, we're all like, I think we were in grade twelve. Like grade eleven, I can't remember. I think it was like uh yeah, we were all in we were all in grade uh, twelve, and we're just all waiting there. And then the vice principal walks in, and we're all like, we don't know where our teacher is. <laughs> and he's like, really? And we're like, yeah. And then like, oh, okay. And then he called him. He's like, so he's on his way. And then our teacher then proceeds to tell us a story about how he built his own house, 
And we're all like, wow, wow that's... Uh, <laughs> no, <it> was, <laughs> yeah, was... time out of your day to, yeah. to well, well, yeah. monitor. Yeah, but it was, like, it was really interesting. Like, he yeah. starts telling us, like, all these stories about, like, all the things he had to go through to build his house. And it's just, like, all these problems he kept running into wow. trying to build his house. That's probably why, you know. Yeah. Well, that, now he's, like, a vice yeah. principal. So as I like, think that's what your original teacher is doing. Yeah. So first uh, real estate, then teacher, and then now principal. That <laughs> sometimes happens. Oh, yeah. No, a lot of teachers do that. Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, do you have something you'd like to say? Something I'd like to say. Um, let's see. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. We have like, I don't know how much time we have left. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay, we're lost. So <laughs> we can carry on with whatever. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Well, you're a photographer, right? Yeah, I so, take photos, but I, maybe I'll call myself a photographer. I don't know. Okay. Someone uh, that uses a camera. So, what camera do you use, I guess? Uh, so, uh, it's one of the basic uh, Nikon. So, it's Nikon 3D. Uh, oh, sorry. Nikon sorry, Could you say it a little louder? The levels are like... Yeah, sure. Sorry. Oh God, I'm, try, I'm trying to figure out, you know, <laughs> like, because there's so many numbers to it. So, Nikon... D three uh, thousand four hundred. We'll yeah. link it in the description. Yeah, it will, uh, we're just gonna link everything. The whole podcast spin. will be in the description, word for word. Yes, exactly. just like uh, we'll we'll, t- we'll timestamp it too. Adrian, make sure to put it on Genius. <laughs> oh man, no, uh, yeah, uh, we're. Uh, uh, I don't know where I was going with that. I was going somewhere with the camera, but I don't know where. I'm, oh yeah, I yeah. want I want to get a camera, but. I'm like I'm a college student who's like yeah super broke yeah. so that's like <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna uh, get a camera for a photography class because I'm doing that cool so, what are you guys using now uh well we're just using like a simple point and shoot simple, yeah simple point, point and shoot right okay now. and then we're later on we're gonna get yeah I'll hook you guys up with like what I use just like it's a basic camera but if you're looking for something a bit cheaper there's uh Sony I got for school and it was just like I don't prefer using it because it takes double A batteries but at the same time it is cool because it looks vintage and well but, I but think I think for in con- the price for, range for like con- 200 yeah but for context for those who don't know Nile likes to take pictures in a very vintage sort of style way i i try to uh, i've tr- well i'm trying to experiment i so the fun any can i say this one story go for it you have so, you have like three minutes <laughs> wow <laughs> talk about um so around the time um i was uh, met you adrian um i was experimenting a lot and so what happened was um my current camera uh, I noticed there was this little round thing around it. Oh, yeah. I remember you telling yeah. me about this. And so I kept exploring with different cameras. I got myself a film camera for a bit. But it didn't really match with my aesthetic, you know. I, I was posting. And I was just, like, oh, uh, depressed about it. Well, not depressed, but I was getting really worked up about it. Mm-hmm. Because I like to continue a style. and uh, Stick with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Try to, <laughs> at least consistency (laughs) and um so it was just like uh, and also at the time i didn't know what the like i felt like i had decent photos but they weren't i I wasn't expanding i wasn't evolving Mm -hmm. and so i took some a little bit of hiatus from it and plus with the camera um as soon as the summer end, it, I started taking on and off, and people kept on asking, post more on Instagram. Yeah, and like, like we like your that because <laughs> Yeah, we miss that, you know, or, like, post anything. So, so I made like a, another, but I did make another account that was completely private. Well, it hidden. I didn't mention it that often, and so I experimented with that. And so now I'm trying to experiment with both in consistency theme. But funny enough, um, near the end of August, I figured out the issue with the camera. So the the I thought it was a crack or something like that. In the in the, in the, in the, the lens, in the yeah. I, I got so worked up about it. I was <laughs> like, because another lens is like three hundred dollars, or oh, man. or like it's really expensive, or getting it fixed sometimes yeah just to look at it just yeah, cost, like cost, and i was wondering <laughs> what happened and i have many other lenses i use and um my dad wanted to use my camera for a bit and i said okay sure it has this issue and he was using it for the telescope and we're doing at the cottage and he's taking pictures of the moon and he figures out the issue it's my hair that <laughs> fell onto the lens piece 
covering around <laughs> it. <laughs> and I was, I was making sure I was like extra cautious. Like, are you sure? I was taking lots of photos. And I was like, and it was like the most happy I was with the camera. And then I got back into it altogether. Yeah. So now I'm trying to balance a lot of photos by having an artistic expression because I like to type both passions, but at the same time have a consistent theme. Nice. Yeah. So if you want to see any of Niall's stuff, we'll yeah. link his Instagram. Thanks, yeah. Uh, yeah. In the description. Um, still learning a lot. You still know? learning a lot. Yeah, I, I think um, the next few years is just more experiment and try to figure out a style and also... Well, that's, that's the thing with everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Finding your own style. Like a lot of artists are now going to black and white but I like oh, yeah. I like what you're doing though because you still have some color mm -hmm. as opposed yeah. to like just straight up black and white it's, it's almost dim yeah, yeah. <laughs> right and it, and it has that like that old vibe to it cool right? thanks so, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> if you want to know more it's it'll be in the description yeah. you can check out his Instagram cheers um, you want to wrap up now well this has been two Latin brothers with uh, Victor Adrian and Niall as Niall of the guest. Feature. Feature. Nah, nah. <laughs> You're the right guys. <laughs> yeah. We, we never know how to end yeah. it. Uh, we, that's fine. We have an, an, a good intro. 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 Yeah. <laughs> we have a good intro, but terrible trash outro. Uh, it's always room for improvement, as yeah. you guys mentioned, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. a style. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's been Two Latin Brothers. So, bye. Bye. Bye.